Now, I hope this little how to basic reference in the beginning wasn't too awkward or anything. But yeah, as you can see by the thumbnail and by the title today, we're just going to draw a basic horse. Um, It's not too basic after all. I mean, you will see how it goes, but... <laughs> um, now, whatever it is that you're doing or every time when I start a drawing, I always need some reference. I want some reference, I need reference, so that I can make better decisions. And just drawing things from my head is a good exercise, but you know, trying to do an actual, like, you know, piece. It's always good to look at some reference. And I always look at photographs, always. I never look at drawings or anything. I mean, you can look at drawings to get some inspiration or whatever, but generally, photographs are better. Because you can just see everything naturally and that's what I did here. Just looked up some things and just wanted to show you how easy it is to find something on just Google. Good. Now getting into the drawing, I mean as you can, as you have already seen by the by the thumbnail, it's not going to be um, that basic of a horse. It's going to turn into a little bit of a darker direction pretty soon. But um, whatever it is that you're doing, I mean I, I did a drawing of like a crab on Instagram, you can look that up, um, it doesn't matter what, I always just draw the basic foundation, like in this case a horse, basically I'm just, whatever it is that I'm drawing, and I also have a picture of like a, what do you call it, a centaur, is it a centaur, the thing with that's like half human, half horse, whatever, um, I just draw a basic horse, right here, I'm not doing any like of the zombie elements or whatever, just looking at some natural reference and just basically sketching out a horse, as you can see. Now, you can add all of these abstractions later, like I'm, I'm really, I'm really interested in fantasy and whatnot, so I like to just draw the basic things first. Anatomy is important, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Now. This sequence is particularly important because, you know, drawing, it is a hobby, but it's also, you know, kind of work when you're sitting there and drawing. So, I also like to take a lot of breaks and just step away from the drawing for a while, then get back at it and then, you know, you did, might discover some mistakes or whatever. I, I always think it's crazy when when people say, oh, you know, I spent like eight hours on this drawing or ten hours on this drawing in one sitting and I'm like <laughs> I can't even sit like 30 minutes at a drawing 30 minutes is probably my maximum or 45 minutes probably but yeah as you can see now that I sketched out the basic horse I'm going to add you know some ab abstractions like that you know like the, the half rotted half rotten face the eyeball, the, the tube from its eye that I'm now erasing and now redrawing. Um, just adding something, right? Before you draw any anything fantasy related or whatever, just look at some basic reference first. It's very important. Then you can add your little stuff, you know, like if you're drawing a Pegasus, the logical thing to do is just to look up basic horse anatomy then add things later. If you Google Pegasus, you're just going to see like artistic images and stuff and that's not what you want because it's not going to give you the best an, uh, anatom an anatomically reference. Anatomical reference? Yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> now, I'm starting with the shading right here. I wanted to do this drawing in ink originally, like I always do when you look at my Instagram, it's what I mostly do. Just start out with ink. Once I have the basic sketch down, and then erase everything. And that's what I wanted to do with this drawing. But then it just, you know, just took a another direction. For whatever reason. And I haven't done anything in graphite for a long time. So that's what I wanted to try out. Now and in between, of course, I haven't got any more sequences or whatever for when I take breaks but 
I've been taking breaks a lot during this drawing. Um, I am, however, very proud that I could finish this drawing in just one day, because usually, usually I take like around multiple days to to finish anything. Sometimes I take weeks. Um, it's just what I, how I work, you know. I let I have a painting sitting in my uh, in my cupboard somewhere. It's just waiting to get finished, but I just you know let it let it sit there for a while. And then I'm going to come back to it and you know just see how it develops. I don't like to rush things, and I feel like if I would you know if I would finish everything in one sitting like many artists do, I would be much more productive. But it's just not my you know my character. I like to think about the things and evaluate everything. And with this drawing, you know, I'm not particularly happy with it. Happy is probably not the right word. Hmm. It's just when I look at it in comparison to other drawings that I've done, like maybe you saw some of my drawings in the intro and also on Instagram, it's a different story. They look better, more detailed, yeah, especially more detailed, better shading and whatnot, but doesn't matter. I'm still happy with it. It's definitely not my best work, but I stopped thinking about things like this for a long time. Yeah. I, I think you need to stop thinking about, you know, maybe this... I wanted to give up doing this drawing so many times because it was just thinking, you know, it's not as good as some of the other drawings and it's not on my on my level. Oh, such an arrogant artist thing to say it's not on my level but I know that I can do better and that's frustrating but I gave it my best and in the end it is what it is and if you're always striving to beat yourself of course you're going to be better and that's what I do that's how I got better at drawing in general but once in a while just do a drawing that you're generally happy with even though it's not as good as some of you of the other work that, that you've done in the past. And just I just needed to stop comparing myself so much. Not just to other people, but also to my uh past self. I don't know. But yeah, adding some shading here. And there's nothing really much more special about this drawing, you know? It's just what it is. It's just a horse with a bunch of tubes sticking out of its fucking face and some <laughs> and some teeth exposed and some hair and nasty stuff i don't know it's just that's it so nothing that grand or special but just something light something still you know dark and whatever just how i like to do things if you want to see some more of my art or perhaps some of my more better laid out work check out my Instagram. I would appreciate that. And yeah, if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. That would be really helpful. I I try to produce more content, just get out there more often and just do what I like to do. Yeah. I appreciate everyone who's watching this video and yeah. Bye.